Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Easy Video Learning Series from PlentyOfTutors.com. Today we're going to be talking about operations with rational numbers. So first let's start with the definition of a rational number. It is the quotient of two integers where the divisor is not zero. Well what is a quotient? Let's just remind ourselves what that is again. That's simply the result when you divide two numbers. And what is a divisor? That's just a fancy word for denominator. So for example, negative 3 over 4 would be considered a rational number. The divisor in this case would be 4, and that number cannot be equal to 0 in order for it to be a rational number. So today we're going to be using this expression here, which says that if you have a rational number, a over b, and that whole expression is to the power n, that's the same thing as a by itself to the exponent n divided by b by itself to the exponent n. So let's use this relationship to do a calculation such as this. Negative 4 and a third, subtract negative 3 over 7 squared. Now according to bed mass, the first thing I'm going to do to evaluate this expression is the exponent, the negative 3 over 7 squared. However, I'm going to first convert this into an improper fraction because I know that eventually I'm going to have two different fractions here and I'm going to have to end up converting this into an improper fraction anyways. So in the first step, I'm going to convert this into an improper fraction by taking the whole number 4 times the denominator plus the numerator all divided by 3. So let's have a look here. I'm going to just forget about the negative sign for a second. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. And that means negative 4 and a third is the same thing as negative 13 over 3. Okay, now I'm going to calculate my exponent here and I'm going to be using my relationship that I just talked about here previously. So I know that I can separate these two terms out into negative 3 squared and 7 squared. Okay, in the next step we're just going to leave this first term alone and we're going to calculate these. So negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3 which is positive 9 and 7 squared is 7 times 7 which is 49. Okay so now we have two fractions that we want to subtract they have different denominators and we know that in order to subtract fractions we have to have the same denominator. So the first question is can 3 divide evenly into 49? And the answer is no, it can't. So if that doesn't work, the next easiest way to find a common denominator is just to simply multiply them out. 3 times 49. Okay, and that's going to give us 147. And that's what we're going to use as our common denominator. Okay, and then as we talked about in a previous lesson here, we're going to just take a look at how did we get from 3 to 147 and we multiplied by 49 so we're going to do the same thing to the top negative 13 times 49 and I'm just going to take out my calculator and type that in and I get negative 637 and similarly over here we're going to look at how do we get from 49 to 147 and the answer is we multiplied by 3 so you're going to do the same thing to 9. Multiply by 3 and we get 27. Now that we have two fractions that have the same common denominator, we can simply add up the numerators. And so we have negative 637 minus 27, and that's going to give us negative 664. Divided by 147. Okay, so this answer is technically correct, however, you may want to convert that back into a mixed number. Okay, so... Like I said previously, there's many different ways you can do this. Uh, my favorite way is just to pull out my calculator and type that in. Uh, I'm just going to type in 664 divided by 147. I'm leaving out the negative sign for now. And I get 4.517006 and the decimal goes on and on. So I know that this is going to be equal to negative 4 as a whole number 
and something. And so we want to figure out what is that other fraction here. And my favorite way to do that is to simply take this 664 over 147 and separate it into two different fractions of 147. And the first fraction here is going to represent the 4. Again, we're going to just leave that negative sign out of there for a second. And I want to calculate what is 4 as a fraction of 147. And the way to get that is to simply take 4 and multiply by 147. And I get 588. So again, if we just forget about the negative sign for a second, the 664 over 147 is our final answer. And I know that 4 as whole number is the same thing as 588 over 147. So this 4 is already contributing 588 of the 664 total that we need. So the question is, how many more 147s do we need to equal the 664? And the answer is, you simply take 664 and subtract 588. Okay, and that's going to give us 76. So you can see that these two fractions here, 588 over 147 plus 76 over 147, are going to total 664 over 147. Okay, so I know now that my answer is going to be negative 4 and 76 over 147. And that's the answer as a mixed number in lowest terms. Okay, and that concludes another episode of the Easy Video Learning Series from PlentyOfTutors.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.